Hello everybody and welcome to an early morning on Sandy Bay. So the first job of today is actually to give the cow some straw because I actually forgot to do it last time. So that is on our priority list. The second job is to shut the gate for the cows because I totally forgot to shut it. A lot of you picked up on it so I'm definitely going to have to do that. Um, so yeah, we're just sorting out the cows first of all. Now I've actually already recorded half of this video already but I've had to delete it because I was going to go and plough field number 8, I got to the field and for some reason, I think it's the plough not the map, for some reason only half of the plough would actually work. Um, so whether it's the tractor, whether the hitch is too high or whether the plough's got a problem, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought the plough has got a problem though because it's it's one from the base game, I've used it before without any issues. So I would say most likely it was the tractor I was using it with. Just probably the hitch is too tall but yep yeah, that didn't really go to plan so um, the other plan I had was to do some harvesting with the class Lexian so I think what we'll do is we'll harvest field number this is where I have to check the map um, field number two because that is oil seed rate and that really does have to be done also field number 20 we own that is a huge field and that needs to be harvested too. Now, I am aware that there is some kind of issue with field 20. I, I don't know what it is exactly. I've not come across it myself. I think it is possibly to do with cultivating, if I'm not mistaken. Um, well, I'm told that the map maker, Oxygen David, is aware of the problem. So I'm sure it will be fixed as soon as possible. I'm not sure if my version of the map has got that problem, the version I'm on now, because this is the pre-released edition, so I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just a released version which has got an issue, or if all of them do, but yep, apparently it's it's all known about, so if you're having a problem with Field 20, I wouldn't worry, because I'm sure it'll be sorted as soon as possible. But yep, Field 20 has to be done, we're going to have to harvest that too. But that would be after the Orchid Rape Field. We've done quite a bit of harvesting recently on other maps, so I don't really want to overdo harvesting. Um, so I'm thinking probably sometime in the near future we're going to have to get some maize drilled and then we'll be able to do some silaging on this map. Not done it yet, so looking forward to it. Now I think that is probably enough. That would be about 66%. If I. I think it is. Is it 66 for three bales? Yep, it is. Now, yes, we're using the, the, the feed mixer, which you've probably noticed already. In fact, you might have already commented saying, why are you using the feed mixer? Well, the reason why I'm using the feed mixer is because we don't have the bell shredder, and it does, well, it doesn't do the same job, but it, it does work. I'm trying to preserve the money we have because we might have to buy an expensive machine. For example, a, a forage harvester. So just trying to be a bit careful with what we spend also we'll probably have to get some more animals we still have to do the pig and the beef mod so just got to be a little bit careful obviously if we're going to harvest field 2 the orchid rape there'll be quite a lot of money in there and now the second most important job of today shutting the cow gate we really have to do this There we go. I don't think they come running out or anything, but yes, it has to be done. Escaped cows. So, yeah, I would be walking over to the Massey Ferguson now, but as we're not ploughing at the moment, uh, obviously I'm going to go past it and we're going to have to go to our Lexian, which is just here. Now, I've only used it once, and the first time I used it was absolutely fantastic. This is just a brilliant mod. Been looking forward to using it again. We'll get attached to the header and then we'll try and find the best route to get to field number two. Now I could just go the usual way. It does cut the corner and it's also probably the easiest as well because the road is wider. But if you haven't watched the first episode, basically I'm using the Lexian 580 Terra Track with the largest header which came in that mod pack, which is the 1020, I believe. 1050? 1050. Which is 10.5 meters. 
Um, so that is actually a very fairly wide header actually for this combine, but it does a brilliant job with it. So I can't really see the reason for using the 900 except for the tighter fields, which it probably is better for. So yeah, let's just head up there now at our very slow pace, 13 miles per hour. Um, pulling over car for cars as we go. Here comes the first car. There is quite a bit of space at the edge. Just got to be careful not to hit a collision though, because there are collisions in the hedgerow. And then, once we've got it started, we'll go and get our Stuart trailer and we can do some karting. This is the Combine Harvester with all the different cameras all over it. Got five cameras, two on the header and three on the actual harvester itself. And the reason why I like that so much is because when I'm doing harvesting, I like to be in the cab because it just feels more realistic. Um, but before, when you don't have the cameras, it's quite hard to judge how far you are from the edge. Obviously, you want to be taking as much as possible. Now, some mods actually have that dial in the center of the windscreen and it shows you how much off you are with the red and green lights. Um, but yeah, the cameras are a brilliant way of knowing exactly, because you can actually see. I think we did well for the lights there. So yeah, that is a, a fantastic thing about this mod. Now what you can do is take the turning right towards Willow Farm and then that basically cuts the corner and you come out at field number two. But I think I'm gonna continue on this road until we get to the junction, then turn right because it's quite a bumpy and narrow track and I don't wanna lose the header or anything. So I think it'd be easiest if we stay on this road and then just cut across. So that's what we'll do. There's the field we did the other day. Our silage bales. So I do this quite often when I'm not really sure on what everyone wants me to do. Um, so please do suggest what you want me to do after the harvesting on this map. We've now done the cows and the sheep. So do you want me to do the beef and the pig mod? Do you want me to do silage harvesting? Uh, just generally doing yard work or seed drilling or something? Please do let me know and I'll do what you want me to do. I think that is the best thing to do, just you know, put the question out there and ask what everyone wants me to do. Um, so yeah, that always makes for the best viewing. Anyway, here we are, phone number two. Let's get this gate open. And yeah, there isn't, there isn't much space to actually put this header on. So we're gonna have to just drive in the crops a little bit. I think I'll probably go around to the right. Take the header off here. Some fields have got a massive grass border and it's just driving into the field and you're there, but with some, they're so tight that you just have to crush some of the crops, which is a bit unfortunate, but there's not really any way around it. So, I think we'll just start here, just to make it easier. We'll unfold the combine, unfold the header, and position everything as it wants to be. And we want to obviously you well you can you can bail um, obviously rate, right, but I don't think it lets you in farming simulator. Let's just see. Let's just see what it will do. Um, I don't think it's actually giving us the option at all. No, straw is not available for current fruit type. It's a shame. Because I bet it'd be worth quite a bit.
Anyway, let's get those cameras switched on. We'll go into the cab. And I think you press left alt, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So that is the auger inside the, the tank behind us. Uh, this one is at the back. Seeing it coming out the back there. Again, the back. And then the headers. There are the two header ones. So we want to be on the left one for now. Looks like we're in line. So we've got no problems there. But yes, as I say, I don't want to overdo harvesting. I really do enjoy it, but obviously if you're going to be watching the videos as well, if, you, if all I do is harvesting, it's going to get a little bit repetitive. So I think this will be the last harvest we'll do for a while on all the maps. Um, we're going to concentrate on field work, I think. I think that is the idea, unless a lot of you say otherwise. Um, really, really looking forward to using the irrigator again, and like I said, the roller from Core Farms. Um, but yeah, lots of different mods. Lots of different mods to make things more realistic would be very nice. But once this field is done, we will be able to move on and do something else. I really like the, the chop straw mod as well. The way it puts all the chaff on the ground. In fact, this is a really good field for sugar beet or potatoes because it's rectangular. We're going to have to go and get the trailer in a minute. I think when we get to 50%, we will go and get it. It's quite a long drive to here. It does take a while. We really could do with a second combine. And that would really help. Because although it might not look it at first, this field is huge, it really is. But not compared to field 20. That really is big. I think it's always nice to have one massive field, but not too many. Just one, maybe two. Because if you have these huge fields, it takes such a long time to harvest. I can't tell exactly, but I'm pretty sure this field isn't fertilised. So I think something really good to do would actually be to get our sprayer, because we've got that really big Amazon self-propelled sprayer, um, and go and spray all of our other fields which are ready to harvest, because we it doesn't take any longer, obviously, to harvest, but you get so much more money out of the field. So especially field number 20, if it isn't fertilised, I think we should definitely do it. It would just make sense just seems the obvious thing to do. Now we're actually almost on 60% because I'm just trying to get back to the beginning otherwise when we put it on a worker it's going to get very confused so we'll, we'll go up to here to the gates and then we'll head up to the other side and start it off again. Right, there we go. So that is it on Auto Combine, I think it's on track. So now all we need is a tractor and trailer. The first track looks like the best tractor for the job because it is much faster than all of our others. Uh, yes, uh, someone did actually say that I needed to clear up this yard and at first I thought it was a strange comment but actually I do now agree, it is a bit of a mess. We need to put things in proper storage places instead of just dumping stuff where I feel like it and yes the Stuart trailer I would say is the the best one for this Probably left it a bit too long, so I need to see percent now. Hoping we're still going to get there in time. 
I'm going to go first left, just down here. I think we're going to be okay. Just about. There it is over the far side. If we can get to that 400%, it's unlikely actually, but we might. If we get some speed up. 3% remaining. There it goes again. So it's 45% full, so it's give or take, um, I would say two combine tanks to the trailer. There will be a bit left over. But that isn't bad. I just wish I had two combines, that'd be so good. Because then we could just unload both, go to the store, tip, and then come back and do it all again. That would be a much better way of doing it, especially with it being such a big field. Okay, so the combine is full once again. I think this time we'll go and tip the load. But first I will have to check what the price is because I need to get the best price possible uh, for each load that we do because obviously we don't have a great deal of money. We're going to need to get as much as possible. Um, so if it's bad, we'll just put it in a shed. We'll, we'll go to Willow Farm and see what crop types you can put in the sheds there. If you can put canola there, obviously we'll, we'll drop it there. If the price is already good, We'll go straight to the sell point and sell it straight off. No point storing it otherwise. But this will almost fill the trailer, but not quite. So we can get £1,139 per tonne at Sandy Bay stores and Littleham stores. I think Sandy Bay stores is the closest. Let's just have a look here. Yes, it is. If we go left out onto this road and just keep going, we should finally get to the store. I'm amazed how quickly this tractor has uh, gone dirty. It's really mucky already. We'll have to wash it next time we go back to the yard. Um, so yes, we'll just keep going until we get to the store. Ah, so here is the really steep part of the road. We'll just slow down a bit. Don't want to be going too fast. I've actually got my foot off the pedal and it's just maintaining the speed anyway with the weight. I think that's a good enough speed, otherwise when we get to the bottom we'll lock up and have a jackknife. Right, so this is a give way. So, what can we get for each load? Should be about, probably just just short of £30,000. Thereabouts, I would say. £23,793, so... Yeah, it's quite good. It's not amazing though. Obviously, the more we take here, the uh, the worse the price will get. In fact, it'll have probably already gone back to an average price. There is our combine. We're going to have to change the setting now though because it's gone round way too many times. Just want it to go up and down the field instead of going round and round and round. So that's what I'll do. So in auto combine, basically I'm just changing this one to up down instead of circle. That'll make it actually faster in the end because it doesn't have to keep turning round. But it's doing a good job keeping it all nice and straight. 
Yeah, I just wish you could bail. I really wish you could bail Canola. That would be brilliant. I don't think there is a mod either. There could be. There's so many different mods out there, but I've never seen one. I've never heard anyone mention one, so... Yeah. I don't think there is. Anyway, the combine is only 51% full. So that gives us an opportunity to bring a cultivator to this field. So here we are in the Massey Ferguson. I've just had to turn the volume down because it is such a loud tractor. But we've already got a cultivator. Which is a stroke of luck. Don't have to spend any more money. It's not a huge one, but it's still a fairly decent one. Can make a good start. So we'll take this over to the field. Uh, now obviously the uh, combine is almost full again, so we'll probably have to leave off halfway through. If we can get back to the field, that would be great, but I don't know if we will. Well, here we are at the field. It's still only 95%, so it looks like we've made it. It still has to turn around as well. It's actually doing a brilliant job at this field. It's really progressing well. Ah, and we might want to put the volume up again now. It's amazing how much louder that tractor is. The sounds are pretty good. It's just the volume isn't right. Alright, come on. Got 3% remaining. So how much more has it got to do? Not too much actually, looking at it. I think we'll finish it in tomorrow's episode, because there isn't too much more. It can get on on its own really, it doesn't really need much help, just every now and then it needs unloading, so we'll be able to concentrate on other stuff. It's basically just making money in the background. But I really do want to do some spraying, I want to spray all the fields which we haven't harvested yet. So that should all be okay, we'll turn the engine off again. And back to the Massey Ferguson. Where we turn the volume down. <laughs> There's lots of lots of volume changing going on. So, um, yes, if we're going to put this on a worker as well, it's going to be an issue with the headland area. Because it's going to get very confused. Just like I do on court farms. So, I think I will just sort of go around a few times. I know it's not the right thing to do. But, we can't leave it on a worker if we don't do that. So it's a bit unfortunate, but it's pretty much the only solution, I think. This is actually a small cultivator for the size of the tractor. So when we can afford it, we'll be able to upgrade it. I don't think we'll sell this cultivator though, because it's good for the smaller tractors. If we ever get something like the I don't know, a, a T7 maybe? Possibly a T6? Then it'd be good for that. I'm not sure. I'll have to look again at the horsepower requirements, but it's not that wide. So I think this will be working mainly in tomorrow's episode. It'll be working in the background. I don't know if we get the whole field done, but it really doesn't bother me. It, we should leave it going while we're doing other jobs, whether it's pigs, beef, or spraying. Um, and yeah, when, when the harvesting's done, it can just get on in its own time. And then we'll bring the seed drill into the field, and then we'll roll it. Now I think it is actually this tractor which was stopping me from ploughing earlier, because every now and then, although it's in the ground, the tractor speeds up and it stops cultivating, which is very similar to what the plough is doing. So, although I don't, I don't want to point the finger at anything, I think it is the pla I think it is the tractor. I think it is, but I can't say for sure. I don't know what it is it's doing. I guess the hitch is just a bit too high or something. I'm not sure. Overall, though, with the cause ratio, it's fine. It's only done it twice. 
for a very small amount of time. But here we are, we're now back at the starting point. I don't know if that'll be enough for it, we'll probably go around again. I was going to check and see um, how much renting another combine would be, but although you might not have noticed, I did it and because I don't think it's an auto save, I didn't save it and it crashed my game so I had to restart everything, I had to bring everything back to the field and do it all again. Um, but yeah, I will check but after I've saved it again, so probably tomorrow. Almost back around again. Combine is 72% full, so we'll unload it going back up. And I think we will leave the cultivator here until tomorrow. Let's get it lined up. So that should be good. We'll have a wander over to the tractor. When we get there, the combine should have turned around and stuff, so it should be all ready to go. And then we'll sell this load. See how much money we can get, probably very similar. Um, and then we will finish for today and we will finish the field tomorrow and most likely do some spraying as well. well let's just check the prices. Oh, it's going to sleet, sleet or snow on Saturday. Uh, canola, yes, it's gone to average now. So this will be the last load we take there. and there we go so the combine is empty we'll leave it and it can resume tomorrow we will head down to the store and the price is going to be most likely worse than it was before unless it's set up so that it doesn't really influence it too much the amount that you take there but as it's sort of average now instead of going up um, I would expect the price to be worse it reminds me of the first episode, casting everything to here. So, the moment of truth, what will we get? We might not have had the same amount actually in the trailer. We've hit 100,000. That's always good to see. Now that time it's 21,926 pounds, but we might not have had as much, so that would also explain it. But the price wasn't as good, so yeah. That would be the last one we take here until great demand. So thank you for watching everyone, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Like I say, we won't be doing as much harvesting in the future, but we will still do a little bit every now and then. So, yep, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.